Hello, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. Glad you're watching today. Let's look through this Middle Eastern cookbook called Levant or Levant. I'm going to say Levant. It sounds fancier. It is new Middle Eastern cooking from Tanoreen, and I don't know where Tanoreen is. Is it a region or a city? This came out in 2016? 18. And it's by Rawia Bishara from Kyle Books. So far I'm loving the photography. Let's check out the table of contents. Breakfast and baked goods. Cool and warm meza. Salads and sides. Main dishes including vegetarian meats and seafood. I like that they have that partitioned out. Sweets, beverages, and then at the end, sauces, marinades, and glazes. I would think that you would start the book with that so that you have the marinades and the glazes and the sauces for the rest of the recipes, but I'm not a cookbook designer. Okay. And they have a recipe index, which I find very handy. It's nice that that's at the front of the book. And the introduction, what's old is new again. And this is her first book. Nice. Congratulations. She signs it. Some of her favorite pantry ingredients, basmati rice, black pepper, bulgur, hot chili oil, tamarind. I don't have any of that in the house. Tahini. I wish I had tamarind in the house. Vinegar, pomegranate, molasses. We're getting right to the first chapter. I like that. Not a lot of stuff going on. And the first recipe of the book is a four cheese frittata. Please tell me there's a photograph of it. Nope. But there's a green tomato shakshuka. I love shakshuka and I have to make it myself. I can't get it at restaurants because I'm a wimp and it's too spicy. So I make it at home so I can tone down the spice level to almost zero. There's a recipe for smashed favas with avocado. One for spring asparagus casserole. Falafel scotch eggs. I really wish there were more pictures because the photographs that are here are amazing. Rolled mushroom omelets. Here's everything grilled cheese sandwiches, but using pita. <laughs> Gluten-free gluten flatbread recipe. That was a tongue twister. Basic flatbread with step-by-step -step photos. That will probably be the first thing I will make out of this cookbook. Manakish. I'm not sure what that is. Let's see what she says. The following two recipes each make enough to top four manakish. If you would like to bake an entire batch of the dough recipes, you'll need to double or triple the amounts of the toppings. So it's labneh, red onions, and kalamata olives, and halloumi, green za'atar, and sumac. Yum. Amazing. Okay. Now we're in the next chapter. Cool and warm meza. Cocktail mushrooms with three cheeses. Quinoa stuffed tomatoes. I'm going to let you feast your eyes on that gorgeous photograph for a minute. I haven't had breakfast yet. I shouldn't be looking through cookbooks. I'm getting really hungry now. Avocado hummus, roasted pepper hummus, spicy lamb egg rolls, Syrian string cheese, step by step. Here's a world of Arabic cheeses. Oil cured chilies. Hmm. My pick of peppers. I like that she's throwing in some tips on that. Filet mignon shawarma sliders. Wow. Okay, we probably got to go to the next chapter, but I want to show you these cute kibby cups in mushrooms. Oh, I would totally make that. <gasps> Whoa, you guys, wait. I was going to go to the next chapter, but I have to show you halloumi bites with hot tomato jam. So yes, I have a weakness for fried food. I'm sorry. Salads and sides. Okay, healthier stuff. Cilantro salata, fennel, pomegranate, and sage salad. I wish I liked the taste of fennel more. It's too licorice-y for me, but I'll eat it. I'm just not looking forward to it. Watermelon, halloumi, and za'atar salad. Yum. And apparently cucumbers, too. Frika salad. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous photos. Fall fatouche. Colorful. Quinoa tabbouleh. Then, of course, there has to be a tabbouleh recipe in a Middle Eastern cookbook. <laughs> Quinoa pilaf, eggplant hash. Tangy roasted root vegetables with goat cheese. Root vegetables, perfect for autumn. Lebanese spicy pan fried potatoes. Spicy skillet crusted rice, that sounds Persian. Coriander green beans with toasted almonds. I haven't thought of using coriander in there. And I'm growing some outside my kitchen door. Sauteed hearts of zucchini. Now we're into the main dishes. I can't wait to see what's in here. Portobello shawarma. 
an excuse for Kibby. <laughs> oh, step by step photos. Cauliflower tahini. Freaky stuffed turnips. That is a recipe I've never seen in a cookbook before, personally. Fresh fava beans, Egyptian style lentil and noodle pilaf, crispy cauliflower steaks with tahini and pomegranate. Yum. Any chance I have to make cauliflower, I do. Chickpea soup. <gasps> Baked pumpkin kibbe. Mmm. Jerusalem artichoke and sweet potato soup. Yum. I haven't had a Jerusalem artichoke in too long. Here's a butternut squash napoleons. Beautiful. This photography is blowing me away. Five onion chicken, harissa baked chicken. I should make that for my boyfriend. Uh, chicken and eggplant rollatini. So we're still in main dishes. I can't show you everything though. I need to keep going. Aleppo peppers, lamb stuffed potatoes, sweet and sour beef rolls. Hey, let's get to the, oh yeah. Uh, grilled fish kebabs, we're in the meat section now. Moroccan style stuffed sardines. I mean, we're in the fish section, excuse me. Grilled sesame shrimp. Sesame surprises me because I think of that as an Asian. Okay, dish. Sweets. Olive oil, butternut squash, and carrot cake. No, that sounds too, too healthy. Chocolate baklava. Now you're speaking my language. Pistachio stuffed chocolate dipped fruit. Honey cured eggplant. What? I have never heard of such a thing. I would eat that. Yeah, sure. Stone fruit compote. Triple almond cake. Uh, layered custard and nut crumble. Yeah, good with coffee. Butter cookie sandwiches. Cute. Do I see pistachios on there and figs? And the beverage chapter. Wow, this is going to be a painful book to take back to the library. Now I, I want my own copy. This is amazing. Cinnamon tea, sage and fennel tea, and the sauces chapter. We know what sauces look like. That was incredible. I need to go buy it. Ah, that was Levant, New Middle Eastern Cooking from Tannerine. I still need to figure out what Tannerine is. I didn't read the introduction, but I will. By Rawia Bishara. I hope she makes another cookbook soon, a sequel, because that was amazing. Wow. I guess if I was going to only have one Middle Eastern cookbook in the house, this would fulfill all my needs. Luckily, I own about 70 of them, but who's counting? So thanks for watching this cookbook look through and review. You can see more of them on the cookbookdivas.com website. We have a podcast. We post cookbook news and videos to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Find us there. Please be sure to click like and drop a comment if you see something you like so the algorithms will show you more of them. <laughs> Bye!